EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen is the only nominee to be the lead candidate for the European People's Party. The EU's biggest party made the announcement in Brussels. Von der Leyen revealed on Monday her plans to run for a second term. She has now visited the EPP Group's meeting at the European Parliament, where she has gained the support of some Conservative MEPs. Party boss Manfred Weber is confident in an election success. Also for the campaign in front of us a strong advantage. When I became party president, we only had seven prime ministers uh, and chancellors and head of states and government on the EPP table. Today we have 12 and uh, most probably we will have in June this year 14 prime ministers, head of states and government in our ranks. So I can tell you the EPP is back. According to the polls, though the European People's Party will remain the biggest political group, they will need allies to achieve a parliamentary majority. When asked about a possible cooperation with the Eurosceptic European Conservatives and Reformers Group, Ursula von der Leyen said where she drew the line. The cut-off line is, do you stand for democracy? Do you defend our values? Are you very firm in the rule of law? Are you supporting Ukraine? And are you fighting against uh, Putin's attempt to weaken and divide Europe? And these answers have to be very clear. Von der Leyen's warning comes after Hungary's Prime Minister Viktor Orban revealed plans for his Fidesz party to join the ECR after the elections. Orban was widely criticised for blocking the EU's efforts to help Ukraine for several months. Another ECR member party to heed von der Leyen's warning could be the Polish Law and Justice Party, which clashed with the EU over the rule of law backsliding.